everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, we are going to do an iPhone microphone shootout. That's right, I have six different microphones here. They are all lightning connected microphones. They're different types, different brands. We're gonna try them out. So, here we go. All right, before we go outside and listen to these microphones, let me tell you what mics we have and what phone I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I'm also going to use the Rode Video Mic Me. This is the lightning connected microphone right here. We have the, uh, the, Ceramonic, um, the Ceramonic Smart Mic Plus. This is the DI version for the iPhone. Next, we have the, the, um, the Shure MV88. This is the OG version. This is with the lightning port on there. And then we have the Powview uh, lightning connected microphone. This is another one that's very similar to the Shure MV88. Both of those have apps associated with them so you can fine tune the audio the way you want them. And then this one here is not technically a, an iPhone lightning connected microphone, but they do sell a little attachment that allows you to put the, uh, the cable, the adapter cable in there. So it fits really nicely and it's very small. You don't have anything dangling. And that is the Editage EIM-001 microphone. So we're gonna test that one out too. And last but not least, we have the Sennheiser Clip Mic Digital. This is a lavalier microphone. And even though I don't like cables, some people really like lavalier microphones. And because this is a lightning connected microphone, I figured, let me go ahead, throw it in the mix, try it out and see how it sounds. So, all right, those are all the mics. Let's go outside, test them out one by one and see how they sound and how they perform. So I made it outside here and I wanted to give you a bit of a reference point. So right now what you are listening to are the built-in microphones of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So again, right now, these are the microphones of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I'm about three feet away from the camera and I'm gonna go ahead in a minute and back up to, uh, to 10 feet and then 15 feet so you can hear what that sounds like the same. So now, Quickly, before I decide what kind of microphone I want to use personally, it has to meet a couple of criteria. One, it has to be able to connect directly to my iPhone's lightning port when I have a case on it. So it has to be able to connect directly to the lightning port and do so while I have a case on it. Now, I know some cases are thicker and thinner. I'm using the standard Apple silicone case for my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and if it can't fit on my phone, if it can't connect directly to my phone with this thin case, then I just go ahead and set it aside and say that mic's not gonna work for me. So now, the other thing is, I wanna make sure that I don't see the microphone or the furry dead cat in my shot when I'm filming, either with the, uh, the regular lens or the wide angle lens. So, all right, now that we have those criteria, let's go ahead and back up a little bit. So again, right now I'm at three feet. Let me go ahead and back up here. This is going to be at 10 feet. So you can get an idea of what this sounds like uh, with the built-in microphones at 10 feet away. I'm gonna go ahead and back up now to 15 feet and this is gonna be 15 feet away so you can get an idea of what the built-in microphones sound like at 15 feet away. So, all right, let's go ahead and plug in the first microphone. And the first microphone is one that I know is gonna fail one of the tests already and that is this is the Rode Video Mic Me, and I cannot connect this to my iPhone without taking the case off. But let's take a listen to it anyways. Let's check it out. All right, I went ahead and plugged in the Rode Video Mic Me, and I'm about three feet away from the camera right now. It's plugged into my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, unfortunately, like I was mentioned earlier, I had to take the case off so that this microphone could fit into the camera, into the lightning port. And automatically, with that being the case, I'm not going to use this microphone because, well, that is not something that I want to do. I don't want to have a $1,400 phone tip over off a tripod or me drop it and break my phone because I'm trying to use a case. I'm trying to use a microphone without a case. So, all right, let me go ahead and back up here. I'm about three feet away. Let me back up to about 10 feet here so we can try this out. And uh, this is what you're going to get. This is what the microphone is going to sound like if you are at 10 feet away uh, using the, the Rode video mic me so let me back up here to 15 feet and we'll try that and this is 15 feet right here and so now you can get an idea of what this sounds like if you are using the Rode video mic me at 15 feet away so all right 
Now, here's one last thing that I want to try, and that is to see what this looks like if I am using the, uh, the wide angle mode. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, zoom this out. And there we go. Now we can see if I'm going to get the microphone or the dead cat in my shot while I'm actually using uh, this microphone. Because if I'm getting the wide angle lens in, if I'm using getting the dead cat in the shot with the wide angle lens, that's just another thing that's going to cause this microphone to be set aside. So anyways, there you have it. This is the Rode Video Mic Me. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Ceramonic Smart Mic Plus uh, use, or excuse me, DI. That's a lightning one and see what that one looks like and what it sounds like. So I went ahead and switched over and now I'm using the Ceramonic Smart Mic Plus DI and I'm about three feet away right now. Again, plugged into my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have my case back on my phone, which makes me feel much, much better. So let's go ahead and back up to about 10 feet and see what this microphone sounds like. So here we go. I am now uh, 10 feet away, so I'm using the Ceramonic Smart Mic Plus DI at 10 feet away. And let's back up to 15 feet so we can take a listen to that. And here we go. So now we're at 15 feet away with the Ceramonic Smart Mic Plus DI. So yeah, now again, there is one other test that I want to try out, and that is it to see if I can actually uh, see the mic in the frame when I'm in the wide angle mode. So let's go ahead and go to wide angle. And there we go. I am now at the wide angle mode. And if we're seeing the microphone in the frame, then it is a no go. But if it's not, if we can actually, uh, if we can actually use the uh, the microphone and not have it in the frame, we already know we can plug it directly into the lightning port with the case on. Then all this mic has to do is sound good, and this one is a winner. So, all right, let's go ahead and switch over to the next microphone. So now I've switched over and I'm using the Shure MV88 microphone. This is probably the most expensive microphone in the group. And I have to say that, well, this one's already kind of just a no go for me because, well, I had to take the case off in order to use it because it won't fit with my case. Now, if you have an iPhone case that has the bottom part cut out of it, then that'll work. But if not, then you're sort of, uh, you know, you have to take your phone case off in order to use this microphone. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm at about three feet right now. Let me go ahead and back up and, uh, and get over here to uh, 10 feet. And so right now what you're listening to is the Shure MV88 uh, at 10 feet away. And let me go ahead and back up to 15 feet here. And so right now what you're listening to is the Shure MV88 plugged into the iPhone 12 Pro Max at about 15 feet away. So now one other test that I want to do again is to go ahead and go to the wide angle mode so that I can see if this is going to sound good with the wide angle mode on there, or excuse me, sound good if I'm going to be able to see the dead cat with the wide angle uh, lens. So let me go ahead and do that right there. And yeah, looks like we're good to go. So um, I don't see the dead cat on there. Now keep in mind, this microphone actually does not come with a dead cat. It only comes with the foam wind, wind puff, but I was using this microphone a lot in the past. And so I went and got a dead cat so that I could use uh, with this microphone. So this microphone does have an app that you can use so you can make all kinds of settings and adjustments and everything, which is very, very nice. It allows you to, to adjust the gain and the polar pattern, you know, the pickup pattern, all that stuff, whether it's stereo or mono, a lot you can do inside the app there. So this is a very, very versatile microphone, but it is expensive and it's going to have to be used without a case unless you have a case with the bottom cut out so that the, uh, so that the microphone can fit into the lightning port. All right. Let's go on and test the next mic. All right, so this next microphone that we're testing right now is the PaloView iMic. And this one is a lot like the, uh, like the Shure MV88, where it has an app. It allows you to set up all kinds of different uh, polar patterns and gain levels and really set up and make your adjustments. Now, I'm not sure if all of those settings move over to other apps when you use this microphone. I haven't found anywhere in the settings or in the, the documentation that says that but the whole microphone looks a lot like the short mv88 and yeah you're listening to it right now now this microphone did not come with a furry dead cat it only comes with a uh, foam wind puff and so that's what you're listening to right now but uh let's go ahead and back up i'm at three feet let's back up to 10 feet again and right now here we are right now you are listening to the uh the palo view iMic at 10 feet away and let's go ahead and back up to 15 feet away and see what that sounds like so all right, here we are. So now 
this is the Palo View iMic at 15 feet away plugged into my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So yeah, all right. Now I can tell you pretty much with absolute certainty this microphone is not going to show up and uh, when I put it in the wide angle view, but let me go ahead anyways. And there we go. We have it in wide angle and it is uh, just fine. So now there's a couple of unique things about this microphone that I think are very cool that uh, that the Shure, even though they look a lot alike, are not does not have where this one does. One of them is this actually has a charging port on here so you can plug in and keep your phone charged up while you're recording. That is absolutely wonderful because if you're doing a very long recording, you wanna make sure that you can keep recording and don't lose power. Also, there's a headphone jack on here so you can actually go ahead and monitor your audio if that's something that you find you need to do. So, all right, there you have it. That is the Palo View iMic. Let's go with the next one. And the next one, even though it's technically not a lightning connected microphone, I had a lot of people ask me about this microphone. And so I want to throw it into the mix because there is an easy way to connect this to your light, to your lightning connected um, eye device, like an iPhone without having cables any, or anything dangling all over the place. So let's jump into that and, uh, and take a listen. So now this next microphone that I'm using right here is the Editage EIM-001. And this microphone is technically not a lightning connected microphone, but Editage does sell a little sort of doohickey. That's what I call it. <laughs> it's like a little mount that you can use to put your, uh, your lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter cable into, and it makes everything nice and neat and clean. So you don't have any wires or cables hanging off and the microphone plugs right into it. And it is actually the small list out of all of these microphones and it's a very sensitive microphone so anyways let's go ahead and back up right now you're listening to it at three feet I'm gonna back up to ten feet here and uh, let's go here to ten feet so right now what you're listening to is the Editage EIM 001 at ten feet and let me go ahead and uh, back up here and now what you're listening to is the Editage EIM 001 at 15 feet plugged into my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So yeah, all right. Now let me go ahead and check out the wide angle lens. And I can tell you again with certainty that this is not gonna show up because this whole setup is tiny. But let me go ahead and take that to the wide angle. And just like that, you could see that it's not showing up in frame at all, which is exactly what we want. So it's small, it's easy to use. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, not showing up in frame. If it sounds good, this is gonna be a good winner. I've used this microphone for a lot of things at a lot of different times. I really, really love it. There's a lot of people out there that love the Editage microphones. And so if you like the way this microphone sounds, I have to say this is a, this is a win for a lot of people. The only downside is you do have to have that lightning to uh, lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter and that little doohickey to put it all in but you know even with that it's still one of the cheaper microphones that I'm testing today and it's one of my favorites so yeah all right anyways let's go on to the last one which is a lavalier microphone it's actually a cabled microphone so I'm not gonna be able to back up as far but we'll see what we can do with it and try it out you might be able to see that I have the lavalier mic clipped to me right now, and that's because I'm using the Sennheiser Clip Mic Digital, and this one plugs directly into the lightning port, but it has a cable, and that's one of the downsides of it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just uh, roll this back to the wide angle mode there, and you might be able to see the cable there just sort of dangling about. Now, if you're filming yourself and, uh, and you're vlogging and you just have a mic, you know, the, the selfie stick out in front of you, you could probably avoid seeing the cable in there. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, this is something that um, I like to use if I'm just recording maybe audio or something, but not so much for, uh, but not so much for recording video. I used to use this way back in the day when I first started doing some iPhone vlogging because I was trying to get the best audio solution and there weren't a lot of lightning connected microphones available at the time. This was one of them, it sounds good. Um, I had This is my second one, the first one that I had after about a year or so died on me, so I bought another one and so, they do work, they do sound good, I do like this microphone, but this cable is just really, really limiting. I can't really back up. You can see I can't even get back to the 10 feet point because as you can see the cable there, you might be able to see it, it's just really stretched out there. I'm probably about five feet right now. 
and this is about as far as I'm going to be able to get with this uh, with this microphone connected to me. So, but um, you can see it is it does sound good. I, if it sounds anything like I remember it, it sounds good, and I actually like the way this mic sounds. So if you're indoors and you're filming, maybe this works for you. But if you're uh, if you're outside and you need to, need to put a little bit of distance between yourself and the camera, this microphone's simply not going to work for you. So. Anyways, this is the Sennheiser, uh, the Sennheiser uh, Clip Mic Digital. All right, everyone, so there we have it. I was able to test six different microphones so I can see or listen to what they sound like and get a look at how they perform. And there are some that I like better than others. First of all, the Rode Video Mic Me L, the lightning connected one. This one is getting tossed off immediately. And that is because I cannot connect that microphone to my phone without taking the case off. That is something I don't want to do. Now, unfortunately, the Shure MV88, as much as I like this microphone as well, this one's getting tossed off to the side for the same reason. I cannot use that without actually uh, connecting, without taking my case off of my phone. Now, this one here, this is the Sennheiser Clip Mic Digital. And as much as I like this microphone, the way it sounds, I don't like cables. I don't like being tethered to anything. And so this really kind of just stinks because I like the way this microphone sounds, but I'm not down with the cables. So that one's getting set off to the side as well. Now I'm left with three. And I have to say out of these three, I think I might actually prefer the Saramonic Smart Mic Plus DI because I like the way it sounds. It it's a uh, it's a decent it's it's not super small. My next one up is the my next favorite is probably the Palo View um, i mic, which actually is a is a bit smaller. And I don't you know now that I think about it, it's really kind of a toss up. I like the I like the i mic the Palo View i mic because it has that app that allows you to make all kinds of cool adjustments so that you can adjust your gain levels and and whatever else. But I'm not still not clear if that translates over and transfers over to other apps that you're recording in. Now, the uh, the iPhone's uh, built-in camera app for whatever reason it seems like the the gain levels are always very very low and the and the smart mic the ceramonic smart mic plus is a very sensitive microphone so it works well when using the built-in uh, camera app of the iPhone so now the editage um, the editage EIM001 I have to say this is an incredible little microphone it's tiny and i have to say if you're going somewhere and you just want to stick a microphone in your pocket in case you need it this is a great mic to have it works really really well the one downside to this is is well you have to make sure you have that adapter and you have to make sure you have the little uh the little clip that keeps everything nice and tidy in there so other than that, it's a fantastic microphone. Now this is an omnidirectional microphone. It is not a unidirectional microphone, so it's gonna pick up everything around you. It's not gonna give you the same sort of, uh, you know, sound profile that a directional microphone is going to give you. So I'm gonna to have to say though, out of all of them, I'm gonna go with the Ceramonic. I'm going with the Ceramonic because it sounds good. And out of the two of them that are actually my favorites, the Ceramonic is less expensive and I really, really like that. So yeah, all right, there you have it. That is my iPhone shootout with all kinds of different microphones, six different microphones that you can plug in directly to your iPhone. I'm gonna leave links to all of them down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.